Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from John 10:10. 10, 10. It reads as follows. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. There are a number of areas that we will all deal with at some point in life, or maybe some of us constantly deal with these areas that honestly, they just come straight from the enemy. As our scripture notes and reminds us today, the enemy, the thief, Satan, the accuser of the brethren, the you know accuser of our souls, that enemy only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. In three of the chief ways I think that he likes to come and steal, kill, and destroy are through insecurity, unforgiveness, and pride. Insecurity, unfortunately, can mask itself in so many different ways. It honestly seems countless, and everybody has dealt with it. I mean, the enemy will send any and everything he can send to make us feel insecure. We feel insecure about how we look, or what we weigh, or how we sound, or how we laugh, or you know how we talk. We feel insecure about our homes, or our jobs, or our bank accounts. We feel insecure about not having what someone else has, or you know not possessing you know some sort of personality trait that we see in someone else. If he can. Get Get us to compare ourselves in any way, to be ungrateful for anything that we have or that's in our possession, he will send that thing our way and he will make us feel insecure about it. Insecurity steals our sense of worth. And honestly, sometimes more importantly, it takes our focus away from God because when we are insecure, we're just focused on ourselves. I mean, we're just kind of thinking about us, what we don't have, how we don't measure up, you know, what we are lacking instead of thinking about, you know what? God is good and he has made me and how does he see me and what does he think about me? And then there's unforgiveness, which is a big mess, which has its root in offense. When people offend us, even if in the slightest, even if they didn't mean to offend us, but we just sort of took it offensively, we kind of took it the wrong way, or maybe they said it and not realized how they said it. Whenever we sort of take offense, we just kind of honestly get that root of and forgiveness sort of buried down deep. We've taken that offense, that root has been planted in our hearts, and now this little root of unforgiveness has an opportunity to grow up. But that unforgiveness, however big or small it was, it steals our peace. We relive that thing over and over in our mind, and we kind of experience the hurt all over again, which steals that internal rest, God's peace in our hearts. It's a lot harder to hear the voice of God, that still small voice of God, if we don't have his internal peace, if we don't have his peace, his rest. And then of course there is pride, the cardinal sin. This is the sin that got the enemy, who was a form former angel, kicked out of heaven. This is the sin that just honestly kind of brings us all down because it kind of is the basis of every other sin, including insecurity, because we're only thinking of ourselves sometimes when we're insecure and unforgiveness because we won't, we're not willing to let things go. Pride lies to us and tells us that we don't need God. We can do things on our own. We don't need that crutch. We can do things our way. We know what's best. But with out fail when there is pride destruction always follows god can't dwell with pride and, and nothing can survive without the lord god is the source he is the source the creator of all existence nothing can survive without him nothing is good without him nothing can live or breathe or flourish or move without him so if he is not there because pride is there by default Destruction will surely follow because God is not there to uphold, to keep up, to flourish, to grow. Every time the enemy tries to send insecurity or unforgiveness or pride your way, friends, we have to fight it. I mean, we have to fight it. You get rid of that thought, that insecure thought. You forgive that person whether they deserve it or not. You are always willing to humble yourself when you feel that spirit of pride. We are not going to let the enemy steal anything else that God has for us, steal, kill, or destroy anything else God has for us. So no, by God's amazing grace, we are going to walk in the security that he has, that he has given us. We are going to walk in the forgiveness that he wants planted in our heart, not that root of unforgiveness. We are going to walk in a spirit of humility, which reflects him because we want to get and receive and keep everything that the Lord has for us.
Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that even though the enemy comes to steal, steal, kill, and destroy, God, you came to give us life and came to give us life more abundantly, Lord. And that includes walking in a sense of worth, God, a sense of value, God, in the way that you see us, God. That includes, Lord, being forgiving, quick to forgive, not being easily offended, God. That includes, Lord, walking in a spirit of humility, God, where we are willing to humble ourselves. We're not worried about what people think or how we look, God. We are concerned about what you think about us, Lord. And we want to walk in humility, showing people, Lord, your spirit, your love, your way, Lord, and not our way, God. We thank you, God, that you will help us, Lord, every single time that little enemy tries to throw those fiery darts our way, God. You will help us to walk out the path that you have for us, Lord, which is good. It is not to harm us, God. And we thank you, God, that because of it, God, yes, he won't be able to steal, kill, or destroy, God, the plans that you have for us, God, the future that you have for us, Lord, the good things that you have blessed us with. We love you. We thank you, God, for your protection and your covering in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. God bless you. God loves you. Have a wonderful day. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.